and the Saints are looking really good right now. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater, man. He, like, to, just to, to, to have that kind of patience and to come back in and do what he's done. Teddy went 5-0 and as a starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. Teddy's also going to hit the market. Oh yeah, uh, this this Somebody's winter, picking this, him up. this spring, He's I get a nice say. little check. He, right, so he he worked himself into a nice bag mm -hmm. with the performance that he's it, put together. And, and he, it's perfect actually if uh, Drew Brees comes back now and Drew Brees stays healthy for the rest of the year because now you basically all you have is the plus. Right, well, he's seeing him those five games where he just came in, won five straight, right. lit it up, uh, had the, the four hundred yard four touchdown mm -hmm. game, and so now it's going to off season. All right, man, you got to throw the bag at him. And right. And Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater has played good. I like the fact that um, the Saints just find a way to win. Um, yeah. You know, they open up the offense um, when they played the Buccaneers, and we saw Teddy Bridgewater um, had an excellent game. I believe he threw for 300, 400 yards in that game. Um, and then they showed that they could go to Chicago, win the football, dink and dug passes. Mm -hmm. um, they, and that's one of the reasons why I actually think um, Sean Payton is one of the best coaches, probably ranked number two, Absolutely. in my opinion, um, behind Bill Belichick because he, he just knows how to win. Yeah. And it, it's more evident than ever that he is a, a good that's coach. That's a huge drop from uh, Drew Brees to Teddy Bridgewater. So to, to win five straight like that and be in a position to where they're looking as strong as any team yeah. in the NFC. And then you get Drew Brees back. And they yeah. were one bad call away from actually being undefeated. Because you remember that um, the that game Rams that Teddy game. Bridgewater came in. Mm -hmm. that, the fumble that, that, call, that exactly. really changed that game for them. Yep. Um, and, Leo, you brought up a great point. Their execution in Chicago, I mean, to me, that's the game that stands out the most because you go into Chicago, Chicago's desperate. They've got to win that game. You have no Alvin Kamara. You have no Jared Cook. So you're out there with backups. Michael Thomas is your only reliable guy. And they went out there and really there was a blowout. You know, yeah. the, the, the Bears yeah. scored late to, to make it a little more interesting, but it was a blowout. Like, the Saints did whatever they wanted offensively, and that was without two of your best weapons. Mm -hmm. So, Sean Payton's putting together a great game plan. They're going to be another team that's tough. Um, their division has got a little more interesting now because we see the Panthers with their backup quarterback winning yeah. games and hanging around now. So, mm -hmm. that's the difference between the NFC and the AFC, though, I think. In yeah. the AFC, we know it's the Patriots and then it's everyone else. With the, <laughs> pretty much. You know, right? I mean, yeah, that's realistically, that's what it is. is. But when you look at the NFC, it's like, really, it's going to be determined where these teams meet. Like, yeah. are you playing in New Orleans or are you playing outdoors? You know what I'm saying? If you're, mm -hmm. if you're San Fran, are you getting them in San Fran when it's a, a, a wet and, and, and windy day? Yep. Or are we playing in L.A. when it's hot and sunny? You know, it, exactly. it's going to be really about where you play these teams and what time of year you play them. With the Patriots, everything's got to go through them. But if you're in the NFC and you got to go to Lambeau, that's a lot tougher than you going to San Francisco. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to play a major part of it. Ryan Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend.